have the facial characteristics of a cornet virtuoso? I don't know if I understand you entirely, Professor. If your boy has the same firm chin and those splendid cheek muscles by George, not that he could ever really be great, you understand. Oh, is that so? And in the name of St. Bridget, why not? Well, you see, all the really great cornet players were Irish. Oh, Clark, oh, Mendes, oh, Klein. But, Professor, we are Irish. <laughs> no. No. Really? That clinches it. Sign here, Mrs. Peru. Your son was born to play the cornet. That'll be seven dollars earnest money, nothing more due until the first installment, made payable at the opening of band practice. Thank you. And of course, I'll need the measurements for the boy's uniform. His uniform? Hello there, son. Would it have A, 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 A? A stripe? Certainly, my boy, a wide red stripe on each side. What do you think of that? I do hope you'll excuse Winthrop. We can't get him to say much to three words a day, even to us. So if you get him to play in a band, it'll be a miracle. <coughs> Where are you from, Professor? Gary, Indiana. In fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. Was she not? Gold medal class of art five. Hello, Miss Peru. Mr. Hill. He wants to put Winthrop in the band. <laughs> Do you ever sit on everyone's home like this? Hey, we're not interested. Oh, now why not let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. <coughs> Anything else? Please excuse Marion. She's not really. Please. I'm sure at heart she's as lovely as herself. Good day to you, Miss Perry. Good day to you, too, Professor. Mary Peru! Has he gone? I hope not forever! <coughs> Darling, do you ever think of your future? Gary Conservatory class of Art 5! Now, darling. Mama, the fact that he claims his commodity of music does not necessarily, in this case, impress me. <laughs> All right, darling. Down. The school board is singing. 
up street and down alley instead of tending to city matters. Mayor Shin, I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. I know all about that. In fact, it's the only thing I can ever get out of him. Gary Conservatory, class of all five. But if you just take time to read about this university, I don't think you'll have to look much further. It's on Papa, the Wells Fargo wagon is coming up from the depot. The Wells Fargo wagon? At this hour of the day? It could be the band instruments. The band instruments are what the man's credentials. <laughs>
for the school. Now get up! Get up, you wild kid! <coughs> Papa police! It is fabulous like you to make blood in the marketplace! Yee yee yes! You watch your phraseology, young woman! Go home! Mr. Mayor, I want you to know that I'm vouching for Tommy Jesus. That boy's got the confidence of every kid in this town. You'll be standing in line waiting to shake his hand by the time our band plays its first concert. By the time your band plays its first concert, the individual members will have to foregather in wheelchairs on account of broken legs they'll get from tripping over their beards. Now let me tell you something, my fine young brother. Feathered young fine, never mind. Peace, all of you, all of Men, I want that man's references, and I want them to know. Do not let him yourself. He slip your Mississippi sturge. dodge the issue every time a little personal risk is involved. What's the poet say? The coward dies a thousand deaths. But the brave man, only 500. Right. I just wish I was a little more informed. I've been meaning to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. His cornet? Mother of pearl keys. It should be fine. He tells me about some thank system. Where if he thinks minuet and G, he won't have to bother with the notes. Now, Professor Hill. Miss Mary, the think system is a revolutionary method, I'll admit. Now, I cannot discuss these things in public, but if you'll allow me to call. When may I call? Any night this week.
You the piano teacher in town? Why, yes. Then you must know about this fellow Hill forming a boys' band here. Yes. Well, don't let it worry you. Got the goods on him in spades. Swing them in two big thimble rigor. I'm just passing through. Number eight only has a 15 minute water stop. Who are you? Name is Charlie Cow and Bill Selden. But right now, I'm out to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity from this swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake, my old lady's corset cover. That man's been the raspberry seed in my wisdom tooth for too long. He spoiled Illinois for me. Now he's not gonna spoil either. Say, what kind of piano teacher are you? You didn't read through him? He's no professor. I know all about him. Band teachers are always called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director. And Perfect. his classic. Fine director. Have you heard one note of music from any band? No, but... But, he... but, but, nothing, girly girl. <laughs> He's never formed a band in his life, and he never will. <laughs> Anything in the world with you. 
But couldn't we do it sitting down? You do sit, your knees bend and all. We could sit on the porch bench. We could also sit on a large hollow log over the footbridge. I couldn't. I've never been to the footbridge with a man in my life. Just to talk. Meet me there in 15 minutes. I just can't. Please, maybe another day? Maybe tomorrow? My dear little librarian, pile up enough tomorrows, and you'll find you've collected nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. I don't know about you, but I'd like to meet today with my mother. Bridge with a fellow. If 
If you want to know the truth, it was almost over. Oh. Halfway here, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think when not under the spell of your salesmanship. Now, Miss Mary, surely you don't think I've been selling you anything? No, you've given me something. That's why I decided to come. Well, I don't recall. Yes, you have. Something Oh, uh, he isn't anywhere around here. Let's try down by the creek. 
think men think.
for sticking in there with me and putting up with me. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Miss Hill, for the quartet. Don't blame me for it.